final member of the 1997 boys basketball team, but now is being inducted as one of the greats at LHS. Eric played football, basketball, and baseball at Lipsick, and then went on to BGSU and became one of the legends in BGSU baseball history. A graduate in 1997, Eric was first team all league his senior year in basketball as well as the Viking team that lost to the eventual state champion, Lincoln U. Eric was instrumental in 1994 during the football season as they garnered their first ever playoff selection, finishing third in Division VI in Region 22. He was also an all-league BBC selection in both 1995 and 96 in football. During his senior season, Eric set a school record with 1,309 yards on 72 receptions, scoring 11 touchdowns. And he capped off his fall sports season as first team All-Ohio at wide receiver. In baseball, Eric took his determination and dedication to the next level. He was first team All-League in 96 and 97 helped the bikes win in both the PCL and the BBC. His baseball career, though, didn't end there. He walked on to the BGSU baseball team and immediately made an impact. In 1999, Eric made the Mid-American Conference All-Tournament Team, and that same year earned the school's most improved player. He also added awards as the Golden Glove, both in 99 and 2000. Eric was BGSU's most valuable player in baseball in both 2000 and 2001. In addition, Eric holds Falcon records with runs scored. He holds season records at BGA, at BGSU, and, and boasted bats and runs scored. And Eric also is third all time at BGSU in hits in the season, and fifth all time in steals in the season. Eric scored 155 runs, fifth all time at BGSU, and eighth all time in hits with 215. He's also attempted career, steal, career steals and batted a brilliant 337 for his collegiate career. Eric lives with his wife Heidi and children, Ada, Ellen, Maya, and Dashler, Ohio. Congratulations to Eric Christian. Woo! Very few schools had an athlete like Randy McDonald at Lipsick High School. He was a three-sport standout in football, basketball, track, and field. A 1972 graduate, he became the starting, starting quarterback as a sophomore in 1969 that led to stellar performances his junior and senior seasons. In an era where running the football was the primary focus, McDonald led the BBC his junior year with 820 yards and 10 touchdown passes and had one of the best games in history of the school when he ran for 193 yards and four touchdowns and passed for another two for 115 yards and a 38 to eight win over Van Buren. His senior season, he was an all league performer as quarterback and defense back, threw for over 750 yards and nine touchdowns. He also ran for four more touchdowns and returned an interception for a touchdown that season. His best game was a 244 yard performance against Harlan Northern. In his career, McDonald was one of the best dual athletes in the area. He threw for over, for over 2,200 yards in his career with 22 touchdown passes and 11 more rushing. Also during his senior year in basketball, he was a first team selection in both Putnam County and the Blanchard Valley Conference as he averaged almost 20 points a game. McDonald stayed his best for last in the spring when he was on the Vikings track and field team. He was a four-event athlete during his senior year and was named Most Outstanding Track Performer of the PCL Heat. He won the high jump, finished first in the PCL in the 120 high hurdles in a, in a PCL record of 15.7 seconds. He also ran the 180-yard hurdles in the school record 21.8 seconds and finished the record-setting day by finishing third in the long jump. Randy scored over half his team's points which was good enough for Lipsick to finish runner-up behind Grove. McDonald advanced to the district and regional meet and then won a spot in the state tournament in Columbus for the 120-yard high hurdles. Randy lives in Finley with his wife, Kathy. Congratulations, Randy McDonald.
Our next inductee is Derek Mangus. He's a graduate of 2011, was one of the most prolific athletes in the history of Olympic High School. As a three sport athlete, Derek was an all league selection in the BBC and PCL in basketball and ended his basketball career with 951 points, 143 rebounds, 103 steals, and 110 assists. In football, Derek was first team all league in both 2009 and 2010 and was third team all Ohio defensive back his senior season. Derek had three punt returns for touchdowns, a bubble return, an interception, three rushing touchdowns, and 10 receiving for 729 receiving yards and 45 receptions. Baseball, however, was the sport that made him stand out from all the others. Derek was the first team all Ohio baseball selection in both 2010 and 2011, and was a first team selection 2009, 2010, 2011, in both the PCL and BBC. He was the player of the year in both the PCL and BBC his senior season and led his, his squad to championships in each. In 2011, his senior season, Derek batted 491, 28 hits, 29 walks, 8 doubles, 8 homers, 62 total bases, 31 runs, and 38 RBIs. He currently holds eight school records in baseball. In addition, Gary holds the number one position for six Putnam County League career records. He accumulated 150 hits, which included 40 doubles, 24 homers, 268 total bases, 128 runs, and 125 RBIs. He also ranks high in walks and stolen bases. His career batting average at Lipstick was 431. He has, without question, one of the greatest statistical careers in Putnam County history. Congratulations to Derek Knight. Our next inductee is Shannon Nodder. Shannon roamed the whole halls of Lipstick High School from 2005 until her graduation in 2009. Shannon was a six foot two standout athlete and dominant three sport earning 10 varsity letters as she participated in volleyball, basketball, and track. Shannon is one of the few players in LHN's history to have rebounded over 500 boards and scored over 500 points. During, during her 2008-2009 season, Shannon was an all-league selection, was instrumental defensively in guiding the bikes to the Blanchard Valley Conference and Putnam County League Championships with a team leading 180 rebounds and 84 blocks. Participating in track and field, Shannon still holds the LHS girls high jump record. Shannon qualified for the state tournament in 2009 where she finished ninth, and she was the first female athlete from Lipsick to have qualified to the state track and field tournament in 32 years. Volleyball though is where Shannon made her mark. She was a first team selection of both their junior and senior season the BBC and PCL, and was named the BBC Player of the Year in 2008. The Viking Volleyball team won the BBC in both 2007, 2008, and the PCL title in 2007. In addition, Shannon was named first team all Ohio in 2008, and the first volleyball player in history to do so. Shannon was also a first team all, select, all Ohio selection academically in both volleyball and track. She had a high school career of 4.35 GPA. After graduation, Shannon received a full volleyball scholarship to Ohio Dominican, where she participated four additional years and graduated with a degree in education in 2013. Shannon presently is a teacher at the Horizon Science Academy in Columbus and lives with her husband, Michael, and their newly born son, Wyatt. Congratulations, Shannon. Our final individual tonight is Eugene Schauber. One of the best natural athletes to ever attend Lipsick High School was Gene Schauber, a graduate of the class of 1963. Schauber, an all-league offensive guard on the football team, was one of the best track and field athletes our school has ever seen. A four-year varsity letter winner, Schauber saved his best for last his senior season. Schauber ran a Putnam County League record in the 220-yard 
dash in a time of 22.45. That PCL record stood for 46 years until broken in 2009 by Stan Spullinger of Pandora Gilboa. In that same PCL meet in 63, Schauber also broke the record for the 100 yard dash in 10.25 seconds, a record that still stood for 35 years. Schauber was just getting started though in 1963 in the PCL. He also ran the 440 yard dash in 49.85 seconds, knocking a full 3.35 seconds off the previous record. That record stood for 47 years. As of 2022, Schauber and Spollinger remain the only two that have broken the 50 second mark. Schauber's performance that day is considered one of the best all time breaking three PCL records, and Schauber is still considered one of the fastest ass athletes our school and county has ever seen. Schauber qualified for the state tournament in two events, finishing third in the 400-yard dash. Schauber then teamed up with Jim Hay, Terry Kaufman, and Phil Vance to run the mile relay in 3.35 seconds. The Lipsick boys' performance were good enough for Lipsick to finish seventh place in the state in the Class A division in 1963. Schauber resides in Florida with his wife, Patty. Congratulations to you, Schauber. Schauber is the 2013 boys basketball team. It has been 88 years since the boys basketball team advanced the state tournament in Columbus. However, that drought ended in 2012-2013 when they defeated Ottawa Hills 63-54 before 2,000 people at the Stroh Center on the campus of BGSU. Despite returning 10 seniors from that team, one could never have predicted that this group would make the magical tournament run it did in 2013 to Schottenstein Arena in Columbus. But the Vikings finished one the regular season with a record of 17-5 and five and won the PCL for the second year in a row. They finished 7-2 and two in the BBC, finishing second behind Liberty Bell. The team coached by Scott Mag was known as an up-tempo team that raced up and down the floor and in the end would wear teams down in the fourth quarter. Lipsick scored 107 points, 102 points, and 100 points on various occasions during the season and still to this day is ranked number one in Putnam County all time with 2,018 points scored on the season. In the district final game, a 66-59 to 59 win, our, former bike, our, our current Viking coach, Devin Magnus scored 34 points in that game and his 1,000th career point. After they defeated Edgerton in the regional semifinal, they then went on and defeated Ottawa Hills to complete the project to get to Columbus. On that day, March 22nd, the Vikings faced a first time attendee in Fairfield Christian, and a crowd of over 11,000 people saw Zach Kuman connect the four three point shots, which was part of, part of his 24 point game, in securing a 61 to 58 win. The following day, Lipsick had the daunting task of playing Villa Angela St. Joe. They were ranked second in the state and were destroying their tournament opponents that year by an average of 86 to 44. St. Joe, no less, had five Division I prospects, eventually pulled away for an 87 to 63 win, but still their closest game in the tournament. Many have said that St. Joe was not only the best team in Division IV, but the best team that year in any, any division. First of all, we'd like to recognize the cheerleaders that are here. Kirsten Salestino. <laughs> Mariah Zaniga. Lena Lewinsky. Kelsey Lozano. And the team members, Leo Gurdon, Derek Tennant, Eric 
Eric Schramm. Josh Curtin. Neil Hazelby. Oscar Lopez. Austin Brown. Derek Steffen. Next to that. Caleb Herrera. Colin Schroeder. Zach Newman. And Kevin Mangus. In our coaches, assistant Chris Kuman. And the head coach, Scott Mann. Congratulations to all of the 2023 inductees to the Athletic Hall of Fame at Lipsick High School. This is going up there. Additional pictures 